Hello everyone, Monkle Zonky here, and this is going to be my guide for Desert Strike Worms and how to slay them. So at the moment, Desert Strike Worms are my task, and uh, what we're going to be doing is killing them with melee, because that's what they're weak to. As always, we're going to go over the inventory and setup first, and then head to the location and begin killing them. So what you want to bring is a Slayer Helm, as always, a Telkar Cal, or a Fire Cape, or really a Skill Cape works pretty well. Um, a Bandos armor, um, that's what I choose to bring. If you can't afford Bandos, I'd recommend just wearing Barrow's armor instead because of the defense. And then I have uh, Drygor Rapiers that I'm wearing, which are very good for melee. Um, although you can also bring Chaotix if you have them instead, which work pretty well too. And for the boots, it doesn't matter too much. You can wear Bandos boots for the very slight damage bonus that they give, but otherwise just wear Dragon boots or something like that because defense isn't really needed that much during Slayer. And I choose to wear a Ring of Wealth because that's just what I do, and uh, the glory as always. And for my inventory, for this task you really don't need very much since they don't damage you often. A Bunyip will provide most of the healing that you need, and if you ever run a really, really low on health, um, you can always just Soul Split, and they also drop a few Swordfish that you can pick up and eat if you don't have the Soul Split curse unlocked. And then just an extreme set for doing slightly better damage, and a Ring to Bank, and of course the ever handy charm collector. Now desert strike rooms are very easy to get to. All you want to do is go to the all current lodestone. They're just a bit east of the teleport spot. As soon as you arrive in al Karid, just run a bit to the east and there's a gate that leads straight to where the monastery is for a uh, quest and also the desert strike rooms are located there. You can only kill the Desert Strike Worms if you are on task, so don't even bother coming here if you don't have a Slayer task, although I wouldn't recommend killing them for any reason other than slaying. They do give decent XP, but they're not the best, so if you really truly don't enjoy this task, I would not begrudge you for skipping them because they're only about 83k Slayer XP with Dragors, 83k per hour, um, and a lot of Slayer tasks have significantly better XP rates than that. So like other, all other strike worms, you just have to investigate the mound before you attack them. And then pot up, and it's very simple from then. Just ability spam, like always, and they die pretty quickly. The good thing about desert strike worms is Curdell, I believe, only assigns 200 at the max, and you can often get numbers of slayer tasks in the low 100, so it's not going to take very long to complete this task. I would say probably about 30 minutes at maximum if you do have the dragors. And drops wise, they're decent. You can usually make around 400k or so per task. Their special drop is the focus site, which is used to make the Slayer Helm, but it's not worth very much in the GE. They typically sell for about 100k just because they're not very rare, and I suppose everyone already has their Slayer Helms these days and don't does not really need to make any more of them. They drop a lot of noted stuff like potato cactuses and U logs and pearescence. So that's definitely worth picking up because it can add up to a nice amount at the end of the task. But other than that, the task is relatively straightforward. They do give a fair amount of melee XP per kill, and the XP per hour melee-wise from my testing was around 220k XP per hour. So that's definitely decent. Um, there are a lot of Slayer tasks that are better melee XP per hour, but... Um, 220k is nothing to shake a stick at. That's definitely uh, re a respectable XP per hour rate. Of course, before the evolution of combat in the old days, these were not a very good XP per hour task, but now they're right around in the middle of the pack. Kind of an average task. So if you want a task that's not the best charms, but has decent profit and also decent XP, or if you're just running low on points, I would recommend to do this task. And there you are. That's about all there is for Desert Strike Worms. And I hope you enjoy your Slayer task and stay tuned for future Slayer guides in the future. I am going to be trying to, again, complete every single task that Curdle assigns and make a guide for it. And we'll see how that goes. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching and farewell.